Okay, here's another little project I'm doing for the hobby guy. A friend of mine, their dog has uh, chewed up the legs of their table. And so this is just pine, stained pine is all this is. And we're going to try to replicate this. So what I did was we tried looking for some 4 by 4s untreated, but you can't find them out here where we're at. So um, I had no other choice but to get some 2 by 4s which is right there. And I tried to cut the best parts out of the 2 by 4s for making the legs. And um, so I went ahead and pre-cut these to length. And so what will happen now is um, uh, I'll come out here tomorrow. This is uh, what is today, Tuesday. Uh, late in the afternoon, I'll come out here tomorrow and uh, what will happen now is I'm going to put these through the joiner planer face to face and then we're going to glue these together and start making our legs and, uh, uh, and as you can see there's a bevel in the legs so we're going to try and duplicate all that and then uh, he, the friend is supposed to bring me these studs and we'll, so we'll cut this. There's a notch here in the wood that we'll need to cut out for and uh, put in the new studs for the tabletop, for attached to the tabletop. And uh, he can put these on. Uh, we talked about these little decorative dots here that's all they are there's they're not holding anything or doing anything just on the decoration so he said that he could include them on themselves so i doubt if i'm going to do any staining on it or anything i want to just make the legs for him and then he can have it from there all righty this will be a fun little project it'll probably take me you know a couple of days anyway by the time i have to wait for the glue to dry and all that but, I'll bring you back in when I start to do the planing. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to do the, try to use the jointer planer on it. I was going to use the thickness planer on it, but I think I'm going to wait on that. Just do the jointer planer, glue these, start clamping these together, glue them, uh, clamp them, let the glue dry, and then we'll come back in and start carving them legs out. Can't be any harder than making a guitar neck. <laughs> I've never done anything like this, but we're, we're going to find out how we now I come out with it. All righty, I'll talk to you all later. Bye now. Okay, what I did right here, right now, is I used that Wien. Uh, this is my Wien 8 inch planer. As you can see, it does a pretty good job on. Actually, it's a, yeah, it's a planer joiner. Does a really good job. So what I want to do is glue these two boards now together, laminate them together. And what that's going to do is give me my um, start for my legs that I want to make. There's those and those there. They're already been planed. So this is the leg I'm going to duplicate. This is my project leg. This is my template, if you will, I guess. As you can see, again, dogs have chewed the, these legs. These are just pine, made out of pine. So I need to make four of them. And uh, so that's what I'm going, that's what I'm starting on. And uh, that'll be a nice little project for me. This is being made for a friend of mine He's got a friend that owns this little table. They, all they want is the legs made, and I guess they're going to paint the table, so they're not going to restain it, so I don't have to worry about staining. And then my friend's supposed to bring me these little decorative dots here that he wants me to put on there to make it look like the original, I guess. I think since they're going to paint it, I don't know if we really need to put those on there, but. I'll do it. I'll put them on there. 
and then after the uh, legs dry over here and put them together after I glue these up and let them dry then we'll uh, use that template to uh, start carving the legs out and see how how they come out um, again I've never done anything like this before so we're gonna see it as it happens and, um, um, I had to put two by fours together to make it thick enough for the legs we, uh, we we're looking for a four by four untreated but you can't find it and I can't find any four by four wood. It's not exactly four by four, but it's just enough over what you need, you know. So anyway, I think it'll work out just fine. Uh, I cut them to exact length, so I hope that's uh, you know, from here to here. So uh, it should work out all right, as long as everything else goes okay. So after I get it all glued up, then I'll have to figure out how to make these cuts. And, um, as you can see, this was uh, this is actually s straight through here. This comes down straight. This does here, and this is the only this side here. Cuts as it cuts at an angle. So that's all I gotta do is duplicate that angle and uh, should go alright. Shouldn't be all that hard to do. So we'll see how it goes. Figure things out as I go here. But, um, all right, I'm gonna glue them up, clamp them up. And I'll bring you back in a little while. Here's my little leg project, all clamped up, and glued up. I'll let them sit overnight, and then I'll come back here hopefully tomorrow, and we'll start whittling away at this, and see what we can come up with. And um, anyway. That's the end of this project for today. Probably try, try to make this all in one big video instead of making several. So we'll see what happens. So tomorrow what I'll do is get them out of clamps. And what we'll do is I'll true everything up, make sure everything's even, Steven. I'll probably go ahead and use that radial saw over there to do that. And then uh, And after that, then we'll lay this out and uh, start trimming away and uh, see what we come up with. It shouldn't be very too hard. I mean, just getting that angle. I may t make a template and, uh, to use for my angles and uh, go from there. And the next most difficult part will be cutting that. Cutting this off here where it attaches to the table. And what I, we talked about with my friend and I, I'm not going to re drill the holes. What I'm going to do is let him do that. He uh, can clamp the leg in place and then drill the hole where it's needed for that bolt to go. Uh, that's, that's my thinking anyway. So we'll see what happens. So it looks like this uh, the outside apron on the table comes around, and hits it here, and then this bolts in, you know, from the outside. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Well, here I am in my closed door shop today. It's bringing out here. I don't know if you can hear the rain here listen 
get in the rooftop. But I thought I'd come out here and board, mess around in the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the clamps off our, my legs here that I'm making. And I don't know if I'll do much of anything else. Let me flat, flatten out the ends on one side and uh, true them all to one size. And then uh, I may do that, I don't know. If I do, I'll make a little clip of it, of what I'm doing. Then after that, once I get them all sized up lengthwise, then we'll start this uh, carving of the net or the legs here. Um, trying to figure out how I'm going to cut that angle. If I'm going to do it on the bandsaw or on the table saw or something, do something else totally different. Um, this part here, making this here, I think I'm going to cut the majority out on the bandsaw and then I'm going to use my router and router that out. It's got this round, this kind of a round thing here that they've done. I don't know if that makes any difference in the way it, I don't think it will. I could probably just do a squared one off. And we'll see what I'll do. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna let you go and I'll come back in when I uh, can. I don't think you wanna watch me take the clamps off of it, these. Uh, there's nothing to it. And, um, Just like that. Um, there you go. all these up clean them up so now I got four good billets here to start with and uh, we'll start uh, what I'll do next now is I'll uh, make sure they're all the same length here to here and uh, what I'll do is <coughs> I'm gonna try and true trip one in over here on my uh, oscillating belt sander here one of my harbor freight specials here see that goes up and down well, after I plug it in <laughs> forgot I had it unplugged so anyway uh, I'll get this all up and going and we'll square off one end of those uh, legs
more to do here, but I'm not going to show it. You've already seen me do these others. But um, looks like it's going to work out all right. So I got three of the four legs done. So I'll do the fourth one off camera, and, and then we'll, I'll show you how I lengthen them. Okay, so I got them all the same length now and uh, sanded off the ends on, that, on my orbital sander over there. And then uh, now we're ready to draw out the pattern on here and start wheeling away at them. I had to make them a little bit shorter than the leg themselves. My lovely assistant was pointing at it for me. <laughs> But they're just a little bit shorter, so I don't think it's going to hurt it. But uh, maybe if I get it squared up there, it seems like not even an eighth inch shorter than what they should have been. I should, what I should have done when I cut these, I should have cut them a little bit longer and then worked my way down, but I didn't do that. So uh, just to save uh, save the wood, I'm just going to. Make them a little bit shorter, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. It's just a coffee table anyway. And they can put by a little thicker feet if they want to to build it back up. Cause see like this one here it has a, has one of them plastic foots on it already, see there? Main thing is so that when you put, put it together, it doesn't, your table don't wobble. But, uh, but anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Now I'm gonna sit here and try draw this out and figure out how I'm going to cut the rest of it up and I'll bring it back when I can. Bye now.